Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Frank Malarsik and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the dividends that I received in the month of October from my dividend portfolio. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys already know it helps out the channel so uh, if you guys would do that for me I would really appreciate it. And if you do have any questions for the Q&A video don't forget to leave them below in the comments. I really haven't received many of those so far so if you don't leave any it's probably going to be a boring video so for your sake and for mine uh, it would be great if you leave some questions and I would try my best to get to them all if we do get a lot. So as you guys probably know already I did uh, leave Robinhood um, but the dividends I received in October, those were all uh, in my Robinhood account. So I'm going to go into my Robinhood account to show you guys. And it's also kind of uh, fun to look at because I received a few cents in interest uh, this month um, since I had some cash in my account for a while. So it says that I have my original balance uh, starting out was three cents, which is kind of funny because then uh, in the March crash when I was down like 150 bucks, it's now it says I'm down 555,000% and then now it says today when I'm up 21 and a half dollars that I'm up 71,000% so it's just kind of like funny to look at I guess I mean it's just how they uh, calculate it based on the net cash in and out of your account so I um, withdrew all the cash that I had um, deposited and just left my gains in with the uh, so I could finish up receiving dividends and then I'll finish withdrawing this money once uh, all my dividends are received that are pending. So as you can see here, the first company that paid me in October was Coca-Cola on October 1st, and they paid me for a total of 43 cents, which I think is a little bit of an increase uh, since last quarter when they paid in July. Um, I think I had only one share then, and now I have 1.04 shares. So that's only a teeny bit more that I invested into them, um, but uh, it's all about increases. Uh, even if they're small, I see that as a win. Um, so the next one was from Leggett and Platt and they paid me a total of 55 cents and I believe that's the same amount I had last quarter because when I originally bought in um, I thought it was at a really good price and so I went kind of heavy at the time and so they've kind of went on a roll since then and I haven't added anything since when I initially purchased that. Um, so same amount 55 cents this quarter as well and you know I'm sure I'll add in the future, but 55 cents every quarter, that's fine. That's that's good to see for me. Um, and then the last one this month uh, was from Cisco on the 21st. They paid me 53 cents, and this was definitely an increase. Um, I think I only had one share last quarter, and now I have almost one and a half. Um, so they had some, I think they reported earnings maybe in August uh, last time, and they didn't have good earnings or something like that. I forget exactly what happened, but they dropped like nine or ten percent in one day, and um, they were just at a good price. So I picked up some more slowly uh, over the course of August and September. I think I was buying a little bit of Cisco here and there. Um, so they paid me a total of fifty-three cents this quarter. So as you guys can see here, I put these three dividends that I received in October into my dividend tracking spreadsheet. Um, and hopefully I actually won't have to do this anymore because I'll be able to use my Python script I'm creating to automatically put those uh, values in there from the CSV files that I can download from Fidelity. So in the future I won't have to uh, type these out manually anymore which was will be kind of cool and then it'll just automatically update the pivot table over here in the graphs. Um, so as you can see in October the total was $1.51 which that was a little bit higher than the July total of $1.40. And also, in July, I actually got paid by Carrier Global, uh, who didn't pay me in October, as you probably noticed. And I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Um, July was actually their first dividend payment, so maybe they were just kind of getting stuff worked out. But they are scheduled to pay in November, um, so not sure what happened again. But uh, hopefully, after November, they can start uh, staying on a schedule and pay every quarter instead of this four-month uh, weirdness that they decided to do. Um, so. As you can see, the total for this year so far is $13.75. Um, a few months ago, I was kind of hoping I would get to the $20 mark for this year, um, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, December should definitely be a pretty good month, but I don't think it's going to be good enough to get me to a dollar or uh, $20, but um, that's fine with me. Um, I've definitely been growing the dividends, as you can see by this uh, trend line here in my chart. Um, I've definitely been growing, and it was just started out a little bit uh, too late and with too little to uh, be able to reach that 
$20 this year mark, but um, I'm sure I'll reach it next year. The account's constantly growing, and um, I honestly like that it's growing slowly. I mean, I know it's going to grow slowly just because I'm not putting much cash into it, but I like that it's growing slowly and that it's a small account at this point because um, it gives me something to be excited about with the market, and it gives me something to uh, be able to learn with and uh, just learn about the market and learn about investing and sort of iron out my strategy. Um, and then once I'm ready to start dumping a lot more money in here, once I get a, some higher income, um, then I'll be able to capitalize on that uh, because I'll already have the knowledge uh, of what I'm doing. So I really think it's beneficial for me to have this small account because it's really uh, going to pay dividends in the future, uh, if you know what I'm saying. So, so I know this month really wasn't all that great in terms of dividends. I only got paid by three companies, but uh, that's definitely all right. Um, in the future, those dividends will definitely keep increasing and keep growing. Um, so I'm excited uh, for the future of that, and I'm excited to show you guys the script I've been talking about a few times. Um, so you should see that in the November dividend and portfolio update, which should come out the first week or two of December. Um, so stay tuned for that. And the quote of the video is, building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint, and discipline is the key ingredient. And uh, this one's actually from Dave Ramsey. He's a bit controversial sometimes because of his stance on credit cards, and I personally disagree with him on that for the most part, but uh, I can definitely understand for people that maybe have trouble with their spending um, that credit cards can be a bad thing for them. It can kind of uh, allow them to... Uh, let their spending uh, take control of them and getting rid of those credit cards can sometimes allow those people to uh, Get back that control for themselves uh, So in that aspect, I think he has a good message and I generally agree with what a lot of what he has to say it's all about um, lowering your spending and Paying down your debts and stuff like that, which is all a good thing generally So I think he overall has a good message to spread and I think that quote um, is one of the points that I can get on board with him on so I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. I know this one wasn't super exciting. I only got paid three times this month, but uh, sometimes it'll happen to you, and uh, you just got to keep going and keep growing and move past it. And um, so if you guys do have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will get to them in that Q&A video, and I'll see you in the next one.